On May 17, 2009, a new game was released to the public. It was quite a simple game, with not very much to do. But it later got several updates, and eventually became one of the biggest games the world has ever seen. But for the many people who grew up playing it, it's much more than a game. It's so much more meaningful. It's their childhood. It's my childhood. It's... It's Minecraft. Minecraft. It's such a fantastic game, and it's something that the kids of the 21st century will never forget. And although the idea of Minecraft is simple on its own, when it's combined with the beautiful graphics, soundtrack, and the many more aspects it has to offer, it becomes a masterpiece. But who could be behind all this? Who could make such a huge success of a game? Well, his name is Marcus Pearson, or Notch if you will. He was born on June 1st, 1979 in Stockholm, Sweden, and he later became a video game producer and designer. On May 13th, 2009, he uploaded a video on YouTube called Cave Game Tech Test, and that was the first anyone ever saw of what would later become Minecraft. Uploaded on May 13th, 2009, Cave Game Tech Test would be the first time anyone would see Minecraft. It looks almost nothing like Minecraft. It actually looks like one of those Minecraft ripoffs you could find online. It was so plain, there was nothing to do but walk around and look. Even in the description, it says, This is a very early test of an Infaminer clone I'm working on. It will have more resource management and materials. If I ever get around to finishing it. Finishing it. Finishing it. Finishing it. Hmm. And he finished it alright. Nice. Um, I was wondering, um, what's the recommended amount of dedicated wham I should have to server? Throughout all the updates Minecraft has gotten in the past decade, one key thing remained the same. It's an infinite world with no limitations. You could do anything in Minecraft. Other than make circles. Not only can Minecraft teach creativity, it also has the capability of helping teachers teach boring, old-school subjects in a more fun and creative way. And that was proven in Minecon 2016, when a teacher went up with his students and showed what they have learned from Minecraft. By using redstone, they were actually able to do math. Not only does that prove how good of a game Minecraft is, it also proves that video games aren't as bad as people think. But there was something about Minecraft. Its world was boring on its own. It needed another dimension. It needed the nether. The nether is one of Minecraft's many treasures. It was added for a Halloween update in 2010, and it was a very spooky place. <laughs> Everything was red and gloomy, and lava oceans took up most of it. 
There were dangerous monsters everywhere you went, and you could get pummeled to death by a zombie pigman on the ground, or exploded by flying ghasts in the sky. Maybe you can just fall in a pit of that fiery liquid we all love and hate. And the music the nether had was amazing. The nether was probably the scariest thing about Minecraft. Except... There's this one thing. Something everyone talked about. It looked like Steve. But it's eyes. Its eyes were white, like a blank canvas. What was it? Was it even real? Was it all just a big hoax? Who was the man with no eyes? Who was Hero Brian? Hero Brian. It was Minecraft's biggest monster. When I was little, I was terrified of Hero Brian. I had nightmares about him, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who did. But it was all fake. Of course, Herobrine was never real. But when I used to think he was real, it was scary. I sometimes wouldn't even go into caves because I was scared of him. Now, it's so funny how such a simple and childish game like that can actually get me to have nightmares because of a fictional character. You know, it's weird. It's just weird how that can happen. But like I said, Herobrine wasn't real. But what was real was Minecraft. And with all the updates Minecraft got, it was still the best game in the world. It has so many things that I'll never forget. Some of my best memories are from Minecraft. I remember playing with my friends on PS3, watching Dan TDM and popular MMOs, downloading mods that never really worked and playing on great worlds, listening to some of the best music I can name from any video game. But Minecraft was missing something. It was missing an objective. It was missing an end. It was missing the end. The end is the most challenging part of Minecraft. It's a dark, space-like dimension that you have to work hard to get to. First, you must kill multiple Endermen. Endermen are tall, slender black creatures with glowing purple eyes. It stands at 2.9 blocks, with its arms going down to its shin, and it has the capability to teleport. They're usually peaceful creatures, but when looked in the eye, the Enderman becomes aggressive. It opens its mouth high, more than three-tenths of a block higher than usual, and makes a terrible static noise. But when killed, it can drop an Ender Pearl. Mixing the Ender Pearl with a blaze rod will give you an Eye of Ender, and throwing an Eye of Ender in the air will lead you towards the End Pearl. Once at the portal, you must place 12 Eyes of Enders in the end portal frames. Once placed, the portal will open. It will take you to the end. The end consists of a big island made of end stone. The starless sky and the void of the ender both composed of a blank, static pattern. The day-night cycle is absent in the end being replaced by a constant, dim light. There are Endermen everywhere, but they're the least of your worries. Because in the sky, there is a huge dragon, the Ender Dragon. Killing it. Killing the dragon, that's the objective. But even after you kill it, the game goes on, with much more to do. 
Maybe that's why Minecraft is so revolutionary, because it's a game with infinite possibilities. A game with no true end. A game with great music. A game that's perfect. Because it's a game that's Minecraft. Because it's my childhood. Thank you, Minecraft, for the memories. Thank you, Marcus Person, for the game. Thank you, C418, for the music. Thank you for making it so great. Thank you for making Minecraft. Minecraft.